Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos and good morning. Uh, well, let's just go ahead and dive right into it. I'm going to start working on this jet and trying to make a cockpit version. Some of you wanted an actual drone version as leave it as is kind of thing. But uh, let's go ahead and try to make it a uh, cockpit version first and uh, see how that turns out. If it doesn't turn out all right, then I'll just leave it as a drone version. Here we go, sped up. Are you serious? I'm just far away from... Uh, let me try jumping. Yeah, I see you. Ford. There you go. Full throttle and pitch up. Whoa! <laughs> the aerodynamics is a little different since it's, a, it's actually... I would imagine it's a little more lightweight. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. It's got a lot of wacky physics going on right now, as, as you can tell. I've kind of, in the back here, I upped it a little bit. I don't know what that's like, but I have no clue what that's going to do. It looked cool at the time. I think she's getting an incredible amount of resistance with that cockpit. Look at all these things. They're all over the place. Whoa! That slowed me down really quick. You know, interesting thing about this jet is that uh, if you have the G-force indication thing where your Kerbal uh, loses consciousness, you really don't have to worry about that. Look, she's having a wonderful time in here. <laughs> that is the face of complete uncertainty. <laughs> Even in real life, going really fast when you hit the uh, ejection system is stupid. Any pilot, any fighter pilot will tell you that if you're doing something like mock speeds or close to mock speeds hitting the ejection system is uh, uh, the dumbest thing you can do a lot of times pilots like to slow down or at least hopefully they're in a slow enough maneuver where they can eject semi semi safely a high speed ejection <laughs> go ahead google it I've heard of people surviving but go ahead and google it it's not something people want to do Come on, oh, 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 ah, maybe not as maneuverable, maneuverable as I would have liked. And then pull up like at the last, oh, we ran out of fuel. Oh, we ran out of fuel. Well, that's a reason to eject if ever I saw one. She's so lightweight that if you put it on uh, afterburner for too long, she'll guzzle up her fuel quick. Which is not too um, reminiscent of real life. Pilots only use afterburner if they absolutely have to. I think what was it, the F-16? If uh, if it was on afterburner the whole time, it'd burn through its fuel like in 12 minutes or something like that. Some ridiculous amount. 
One abort. Abort. Oh, shit. Oh. Ah! Oh, her parachute did not open. That was bad. I do need to find a way to put more fuel on it. Even if it means hiding a few of the smaller gas tanks. I don't want to eject from a perfectly good aircraft. Okay, three, two, one. Ah, go. Whoa. Nice. Wow, that just disintegrated. It's like the damn thing's made out of paper. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, obviously some more work needs to be done, more tests and stuff. Uh, for those of you who are wondering about Solar Nations, like I said before, I am working on it. Hopefully I'll have it out by this weekend. And you're going to be uh, in for a little treat at the very end. Alright, everyone. I am Veos. I'll see you in the next video. Signing off.